According to a study, on average, we fall in love four times in our lifetime. But we're accustomed to saying that in love, men and women don't work the same way. Seduction, feelings, sexuality. When a man and a woman meet for the first time, they first see the physical aspect which is more or less attractive to them, according to their personal tastes. Women will first look at certain parts of the man's body, but which ones? The smile, the teeth, it's very important. For me, it's more the hands. Their height, I like it when they're tall. Strong hands, that's important. It's reassuring. For me, it's the look. And for you, gentlemen, what do you look at first in a woman? I look at the feet. In the eyes. Her mouth and her hands. The nose and ears. We are nuts. And there you go, three liars. <laughs> Indeed, most surveys show that it's more about the figure, the chest and then the behind that will captivate men or not. Yet there is something that all men and women look at first, more than you would think. Let's find out. Without us knowing it, we will look at other factors such as the other person's look. This is the first thing we will perceive in order to determine if there's a mutual interest. We wanted to verify this by conducting a test on the street. We were inspired by a Franco-American scientific study. Look at this picture. In appearance, it's the same face. But there's a detail in her look that makes all the difference. On the left, the young woman's pupils are dilated, and it's scientifically proven that this little imperceptible detail makes her more attractive. Let's test it. This one. And you, sir? I'd also say this one. So, the one on the right? I would say the one on the left. This one. I would say it's that one. This one. The picture on the left. And you have a phone number? No. Ah, then. The conclusion. The men were more attracted to the woman when her pupils were dilated. And that has surely already happened to you. Man or woman, when we're attracted to someone, our pupils automatically dilate due to excitement. They can even reach up to four times their normal size. But why? They will expand in response to a release of adrenaline, which is both a hormone and a neurotransmitter. And this reaction indicates that there is interest concerning the person of the opposite sex. Adrenaline is secreted when we're stressed, in danger, or excited. Our heart rate accelerates, our blood pressure increases, and our pupils dilate. If the woman has dilated pupils, she will react much stronger to the man's advances when he speaks to her. And the man is receptive to this signal at first glance, as our test has shown us. The conclusion? Hormones play a role in seduction both in men and women.